Hello, I'm Melissa Melton with the Rural Community Assistance Partnership. Today's segment, we're gonna be talking about a raw water intake. It's actually the structure that holds all of the pumps pumping the water from your reservoir, or river in this case, to the treatment plant. This water intake structure may not be the most beautiful building, but it most certainly provides a critical function in the water treatment process. It pumps enough water to serve at least 10,000 people. Surface water enters the treatment facility through an intake. An intake draws raw water through a suction line that typically has a screen or other device attached to avoid drawing in fish, wildlife, or even debris. Intakes can be fixed in place or be adjustable to draw raw water in at different levels from the river, stream, or reservoir. This sometimes provides for a better quality or quantity of water at different times of the year. Come on, let's go inside. This room inside the intake structure is housing all of the pumps. It's actually pumping 2,100 gallons per minute. These pumps at the raw water intake require a lot of electricity. That's why your power bill is so expensive at the water treatment facility. In some cases, however, drinking water systems can use gravity to get the raw water into the treatment plant. This is true if the raw water source is higher than the treatment plant. As we're leaving the raw water intake structure, the water is being pumped into the water treatment plant, initially into a pre-settlement basin. In this case, the water will be pumped directly into a static mixer or flash chamber. 